for, but darling, mommy, I just wanna take you on a holiday, mommy. Say what's on your mind, I'ma call away, mommy. Come and rescue me. Whoa. Take me out the club, whoa. take me out the trap, whoa. take me off the market, take me off the map. I'm tryna hit the group chat and tell them it's a come. Hey, y'all. Look, Auntie. Look, Granny. Granny. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, my mama having surgery and we just waiting on her. Grandma, if you don't take them glasses off, look, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> she she said, nope. <laughs> I told y'all, she do not play about that social media. She don't even want a picture taken. She's looking so still, she won't even turn. <laughs> Grandma, you know when you go back and watch the vlog, you're going to see yourself. They do all kinds of stuff with your picture on social media. Wait a minute, cause not you in the back talking about hey babes, welcome to another vlog. Wait a minute, baby K, wait a minute. Besties, it is literally the next day. So Okay, boys. Okay, okay. I had to get up, get my mama to her. Um, appointment because she had surgery yesterday so I had to get up get her to her appointment y'all already know it's a struggle getting out the house early and with kids we got back home my mom stayed over at my house for like probably from like nine until like three and then she drove home so she was feeling better and she drove home so she's gone home now and we're about to go to costco because my in-laws are babysitting the boys this weekend at our house and we're out of paper towels we're out of tissue like nobody can't be wiping their butt with their hands so gotta get some tissue child i'm tired i've been running all day freaking fedex um marked my fashion nova they said i wasn't home y'all i've been home like since nine o'clock it says they try to attempt the delivery at 1202 i was home and furthermore even if i'm not at home just leave the package why would you take it they're lying they have not been here i checked my cameras so i've been chasing fedex down all day trying to get my fashion over because we leave tomorrow i need my stuff so i'm a bit stressed i'm a hot mess dressed head looking toe up but you know it's a good day and we finna get ready to head out um my car Okay, we'll give it to them. Sorry. I'm giving the kids their iPads because I want to ride in silence. I don't want to answer no questions. It's already going to be traffic. So, yes, we're giving out iPads. And what about it? Before we leave this house, thank you, Lord, for this. Hands, boys. Okay, put your hand in. Thank you, Lord, for this day. As me and my family get ready to travel, Lord, I pray that you keep us safe. Keep us keep us protected, Lord. I pray that while we're out and about that you keep us safe, Lord. And I pray that you let us make it back home safely, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen? Amen. Okay. Thank you. There's your iPad. It's only on 28%, so it'll probably be dead by the time we get to Costco. But you know what? It is what it is. So, put y'all seatbelts on, Bessie girls. Let's go. So, I need to stop at Victoria's Secret because I need some new underwear. But, um, I didn't want to go in there alone. I don't like this city, period, point blank. And, of course, my security is right here about to back up on side of me. Because the Victoria's Secret store is like in a tight spot and he can't get his truck in there. So we're going to just park in like, it's like H&M parking lot. And then he's going to get in my car and ride over there with me so that I can go in there and get my underwear and be stressed and worry free. Because if you know, you know, baby, the city is a little rough. A lot rough. So yes, waiting on my hubby. I'm going to go. I have some coupons in my purse for Victoria's Secret. It's like 25 off of 100 and then like a free penny as well. I don't really know $100 worth of things that I want from Victoria's Secret. Probably can't find anything, but I'm going to run in there and see because your girl's going on vacation and I want to get what I want. So yeah. They say hey to the vlog. What's up vlog? And it's good with my oh, these are so cute. Let me get them. Oh, why don't they all have the bedazzled P on it? It was cute. Not the game banging draws. Oh no. Okay, bestie girls. I am at Hush Phone. Don't start all that beefing. I'm at home, y'all. And let me see. I'm about to give y'all a little DIY last tutorial and a haul of everything I got from my little Fashion Nova vacation haul and from Victoria's Secret. 
So I'm out of my usual cluster lashes that I use. So these are the ones that I use when I don't have any cluster lashes. And these are by I Envy. They're the 3D collection. Go ahead, screenshot. They're the Mink Impact ones. And I feel like these kind of give like that little like look that my lash clusters that I always use. It gives that same look. And so you can choose between number three and 15. I think 15 is gonna have to be my favorite. They're just like a little bit more wispy, but I do like both of them. So I'm gonna use 15 and hopefully these will stay on all weekend. So what you wanna do, I use like some mini scissors, but I don't know what the freak happened to my scissors, but I cannot find them. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these. These are the 15s. So basically what you're gonna do is cut them exactly how strip lashes or how cluster lashes would be cut. So what I like to do is I try to like to cut it into like five pieces. So I'm just gonna go ahead and chop this up. Now I'll right back. Okay, I gotta zoom y'all in because yeah. So I just take a little bit of glue and I put it onto the packaging and I got my lash cut into four pieces. So I'm gonna take the piece that would go on the outer corner of the eye and you're going to dip the glue, but you're gonna dip the glue like, oh freak I got this on my nail let me see it's all right so this portion of the lash this front portion portion right here that little top part right there you're gonna dip it but the way you're gonna dip it is upside down like this and don't make it messy because then the glue will show like on top of your lash so it go look like that and then you're going to lift your eyelid up. Don't pull too much, y'all, because my grandma told me this can cause wrinkles. But you're going to just ever so slightly lift and you're going to place it right under there. Now All right, y'all, I got my lashes done. Y'all, lashes can really take you from like, mwah like it just adds that little flavor that little pizzazz like look look how cute $3.99 local beauty supply store boom bam get you some so when it comes to my hair look for the weekend I don't really know what I'm gonna do I know I'm gonna start off with a 30 inch deep wave it's by Amanda hair I'm really excited to put it on because it's so cute so I'm gonna start off with that and probably some wild baby hairs and then we'll probably transition to something straight and glueless but I don't know I'm gonna put the Amanda frontal on tonight though but i want to give y'all a little fashion overhaul and i also need to pack and try on my clothes as well so let's do that girl i got my lashes done i think i just feel so cute now it's not that i don't look cute with my lashes but when i get my lashes on it just gives daddy am i your baby <laughs> let's go okay y'all first outfit oh this is so cute baby it's like a little body dress one too and it got like this little tie up behind the neck little number and so the boobs is all out looking real sexy it definitely gives vacation vibes and it's like a midi length and then just so cute i'm obsessed definitely giving this like a 10 out of 10 and i think i paid like 10 dollars for it so okay y'all second little one too this one is actually from the fashion nova snatch collection y'all like i love this and i love anything they got my back out because i got my little tattoo right there I'm going to try to get me a little tattoo this weekend. I don't know. Probably a little piercing, a little tattoo, a little something. But I love wearing my back out because my tattoo right there. And it's like this little halter top jumper. And like I said, it's from the Snatch Collection. So it really just sucks everything in and pushes the right stuff out. If you catch catching my drift. But this is cute, baby. I'm definitely giving like a 9 out of 10. Okay. This is the next item, y'all. Look how cute this corset shirt is. Like, it got like these flowers all over it. I don't know. I don't know if it's roses, but it's super cute. It's a corset. And I got mine in a medium, y'all. And I'm like a D cup. And look how it's pushing the girls up. Like, I don't have on a bra. I don't have on nothing. And it's pushing them up. And I'm loving this. I wish my necklace would stop getting tangled up. That's irritating. If they got this in other colors, I'm getting every color. Like, I love this. And let me show you the pants. And y'all know I'm a flare jean type girly. And I just think this whole entire little outfit is so cute. Like, ah. So cute. Shirt, 12 out of 10, babe. This is, this is banging. Like, this is it. 
and then it got a zipper in the back so make sure you get the right size because there's really no stretch pants definitely size up i got a nine instead of a seven because the review set the size up and i'm glad that i did because y'all see how that hug you whole fit 12 out of 10 upset also got this shirt um it's labeled as a corset this is not a corset like at all there's no zipper there's no nothing it's just super stretchy it gives like tank top vibes but it was pretty cheap so i'm not gonna complain <sighs> kept it on with those same pants so y'all can see it's like a little crop number real cute especially if you got like a little mom body but i don't know why they calling it a corset because it's definitely not a corset in any way shape or form it's definitely a tank top with some texture lines on it <laughs> little number y'all is this i've had this shirt in the same color this is like my third time having it i think these are only five dollars on fashion Nova, but they're these cute little halter tops look how cute that is in a bag <laughs> i got three of these so i got orange i got black and i also got nude i also had white in my cart but i deleted it because i was like last time i had white it didn't even make it like a full day before it was dirty i wore it on the cruise and it just ugh, it was nasty so i just got me some colors this time this is so cute like and then with these jeans too a nice little pair of flare jeans or some mom jeans with some cute little sandals or even like some little platform sandals <laughs> yeah get it sassy get it sassy i'm obsessed i love these kind of shirts very affordable if we have the same style you know if your style is like mine, you know, young, hot mom and wife vibes. I was like, this is really cute. It's not showing too much. It's not doing too much. I ain't too much exposed. Got a little bit of your stomach, a little bit of back, and a whole lot of sexy. Mm -hmm. Definitely 10 out of 10. I'm going to order all the other colors. They got purple, black. I think they had a green. They got some, just, I want all of these. Cause like, I love basics that I can just throw on with some cute jeans and some cute little shoes and call it a day. Okay y'all, I don't know if I put this shirt on right or not, but I got this for like, if we go out like to, like, to like a bar or to a club or something, you know, something that gives like nightlife, nighttime vibes. But like I feel like it's doing too much. I mean, not really, but like the boobs are only protected by this little piece of the, like fabric right here. So one little slip in the whole world gonna see your nipples. So I don't know. But I also got these pants, y'all. They some leather pants, and so they flare, which is real cute. And I could always wear these pants with like. I got a few other little pieces in my closet. If I don't like the whole flow of this little fit, I got a few other little pieces in my closet that I can wear these pants with, but I really want to like this shirt. And plus the shirt was like $25, so I'm gonna have to like it. But um, I'm trying to figure out that I put it on right. Cause I mean, it looks right, but it just don't feel right. So this is a, one of the little swimsuits I got. So it's three piece. So it came with the tops, the bottoms, I ain't gonna show because YouTube might flag it for me doing too much. Uh, and then also came with this little skirt, real cute. And then the skirt has like these little pulleys on the side. So if you want to make it like a mini skirt, like on one side, like do half up, half down, y'all. Yeah, and this is the other girl. <sighs> this is the other one, it's showing up like a peach color on camera but it's really like coral like it's bright or like a hot pink like hot pink but yeah this is how it looks i actually already have this dress however i have this dress in a medium and it was just too slouchy on me so i got me a small and i love it and it's like a maxi dress so it comes all the way down and then i also got these super cute little sandals which y'all probably can't see them but it, they cute. But yeah, this dress is cute. Body. Real cute. Okay, y'all. I also got this little boxer set. And it really gives skin. Like, I don't know if y'all can tell. But it's like a, a cream color. <laughs> cream and white. And like, it definitely gives skims. I got this in a small on accident. Because I order everything in a medium. Except for this. But I really like how it fits. But you can really see my love handles in this. 
And I don't feel like you can really wear no underwear with this. Otherwise, the draw is going to be showing. But it's real cute. You can wear this out with like a jean jacket over it. I would definitely wear like a jean jacket over it. Because like, I'm just, I, I, I'm not a modest girly. But I don't like to feel like naked. And I almost feel naked in this. I don't know why. But I would definitely wear like a little jean jacket over it. Cute little one too. This is my little two piece that I got from Victoria's Secret. It's like a baby pink and then it says pink across. And I got the one with the sweats. They also had one that had um shorts, but I ain't want no shorts. And I got the wide legged sweats. So cute, y'all. Like literally and so comfy. Oh, tomorrow, this is gonna be my little travel fit. Did I need all these outfits for a weekend trip? No. Do I regret buying them? No. Life is short. If you got something you want and you can get it, get it. Get it. Heavy on it. Get it. Y'all know me. I used to be like a safe, 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 safe. But now, girl, that's what life insurance is for. The money you got now, use it. All right. Hey, bestie girls. It's the next day. And we didn't left. We left like an hour ago. And I can't even lie, it was kind of hard leaving the boys, even though it's very much so needed. It's still like hard to leave them because we always with them, you know what I'm saying? But I know they in good hands, so we're in Troy, Alabama, and we're on the way to Florida. We had to make a detour, y'all. This big back here that had breakfast this morning and didn't bring me nothing. I went to work. He went to work for, girl, an hour and 37 minutes. Because he, had, that to, even that he long, had to uh, hit 40 hours. And so he had to go clock in just for a little bit of time. Uh, and, may I have some uh, ranch and cookout sauce? Of course. He come home with a steak, egg, and cheese bagel. We are. Meat muffin, uh, whatever. Y'all have a good day. And I ain't brought me nothing. And Man, I've been, I was absolutely. up this morning. Y'all was cleaning. We gonna park. Yeah, we could park. Cleaning, cooking. Do you know packing because we literally I didn't pack last night. I gave y'all a little try on haul and then I left all the stuff on the floor. So yeah, I just been cleaning up and stuff <laughs> all morning. So this morning I had to clean up, pack, and you know make sure all the stuff was situated with the dog and the boys. So I didn't eat nothing, y'all. It's currently 4:13. My body's shaking so bad. I'm so emphasis on so hungry so we just left cookout and we got the big back trays and i wow. got what my husband always get because every time he get it it be so you got us chili cheese fries i got chili cheese fries i told you you said you wanted them i carrots. told you to get me what you get you at you said i want a quesadilla and those curds oh I so have. i couldn't get both i mean you i could get i could get three you well okay let me i want half some of yours i can have Damn! <laughs> I can't get Oh, these curds are so small. They look like little cheese turds. Y'all, they really good, y'all. Damn! Mmm, that's how good. Oh, that's how juicy. Cool. Man, get my food. I ain't, I'm here to eat, man. I don't, I don't have any yours. Here, go ahead. go ahead. I'm in the fries. Open it up. Go ahead. Open them so I can dig my little hands in them. Because regardless if you mad or not, I'm getting some. That little place you got so piss poke. Ain't it? That's why I'm finna dig off of yours. Yeah, I'm so excited. Go ahead. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna take a picture. I'm gonna take a picture. That, oh, video. That shit look good. I'm gonna take a picture too. Because I'm a big back. Uh, 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 uh. What that is? My food. Ah. Yeah, anyway. Mm. I don't wanna make a mess with my car. I'm about three, five with two of them. Make sure you get them off. Mm -mm, go ahead. You uh, sure? Babe. Don't come back. Get what you want now. Because if you come back, I'm going to be like, what you doing? Go ahead. Okay, y'all. So, I'm terrible with like. You don't? Plan yes. Planning trips and stuff. Because I, I, I'll plan Let a trip with no itinerary. So. No who? Itinerary. Who? Itinerary. A who? Stop. Picking, how you say it? Itinerary. That's what I said. Itinerary. Okay, boo. I gotta find us some stuff to do. But y'all see my hey, outfit stuff. Watch here, man. It's game time over here. Y'all see my outfit stuff. I got a little outfit for every occasion, boo. Every. It's today. 
and day okay. one is almost over. Who almost over for who? If we get there at six, be ready by eight, hit the streets by eight thirty. This ain't probable. Stuff open all night. And it's spring break. We in the streets. Get it, said, see, boy, you know this ass super fat. I am on him, dumb. Get it, said, see. We're going to go to the liquor store. The only liquor store I know of on the strip is the Walmart liquor store. So, probably going to pay an arm and a leg. But I'm willing to pay an arm and a leg for some Hennessy because that's what I want to bottle. <laughs> so I don't hear him on. Hmm? I could win a guy for best. Hey. I told you that I wanted to go on base, but I didn't make it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna eat. Like a big bag. Ultra. Shabram. Oh, this car holding up. Keep left onto State Road 81. I like on my own Christmas. I'm money because I make it. I got a big bag. I got a big kick. Make it stop in the wheel. Looking for the seat. Okay, y'all, we made it. However, there's a code to get into the building that they did not email us, y'all. So we had to wait till somebody came and opened the door, y'all. But this is the first little room. Come no one to in the condo. Uh-uh. This is gonna have to be the beauty room, but it ain't even no mirror in there to be a beauty room. Sorry, y'all. We couldn't find figure out the access code. So we had came in after somebody opened the door, but we got the access code. We got access y'all this is so cute like this is why i say babe let's get into real estate we can literally get us one of these rent it out it could be our little vacation spot calm little laundry room everything little one two second bathroom because it's like a three bedroom y'all i really couldn't find nothing small for the weekend but you know what it is what it is they got a big nice fridge in here yeah, we should have. Full kitchen. But I don't think we doing no cooking, babe. That's the point of being on vacation. I'm going out to eat every day, every meal. This is a cute little table. It's very festive. And I love this little light shining. Can y'all see that? That's cute. Then you come over here. And boo, this what I'm actually going to happen. All the hunching. Come a little bathroom. Why not um, football looking like that? Uh-uh. Come a little one, too. And look at all the mirrors. It's giving bow. Then it ain't mama. I don't let that. Okay, sorry. Cute little jacuzzi. You come right here. Very small shower. Oh, that small is pretty long. I guess you can make a one-two shake in there. <laughs> come out. I love this room, y'all. Oh, if I lived, like if we still lived in Florida, because we was actually gonna buy a house in Pensacola, y'all. I don't even know if I told y'all that, but I'll tell y'all in a minute. Let me finish the tour. Let me see this tour. I just love this little condo. Oh, this is so nice. The beach. Oh. Nice little balcony view. Wrap around. It wraps around to the living room. Let's go around here. Let's go in the living room. And yes, it's so cute. It's so nice. Oh. All right, besties, we had ended up going, getting here. We went to the liquor store. It was like the little Walmart liquor store. We went and got a few little one, two items. And now we got back. We hunched on the balcony and then oh, <laughs> I took a shower and I'm getting ready now. So I got on this wig that I was telling y'all about last night. I was a little bit disappointed in it because it's pre-plucked, but like it's overly plucked. Like the wig got alopecia in the front, so I ended up having to buy some freaking mascara to kind of like try to fix it in the front, and it still ain't giving what I wanted it to give. So probably gonna take this off probably tomorrow, and then just put on another little blues wig that I packed in my bag. Cause I wasn't planning on changing my hair all weekend, but once I saw that this wig had alopecia. 
I <laughs> I was like, uh uh, it ain't it ain't gonna work out again. And then plus it's like the cap size is off or something because it's not fitting my head like a glueless wig. Like I'm having to use some reinforcement with like even spray and stuff. So I like it but the over pluckness and like the cap is really getting on my nerves. So I have a highlighted unit that's from Miss Coco Hair. And then I also have I got that. I got two, I bought two extra wigs, so I got some other little one twos to throw on. So yeah, tomorrow um probably definitely gonna change the hair. But for tonight, I'm gonna keep it. So yeah, I'm just getting ready. Whole fix from Fashion Nova. Two items that I showed y'all in a little haul last night. So I'm gonna talk to y'all when I finish getting ready. I know I'm a pit bull, but darling, mommy. I just wanna take you on a holiday, mommy. Say what's on your mind, I'm a cop. Yeah, let's eat there. Alright, y'all. So we had went to the freaking club. And y'all know that's something that we never do. And we get in the car, he sleep. Get the f up. <laughs> he was all the way sleep. Fat, like this. Yeah, I put you on my story. Yeah, I'm so tired. I've been trying to go to sleep before we left. What you gonna get? We at Waffle House. It is one night. Look at my phone I'm not doing right or my camera not doing right. It's one night thing. I'm getting the what I'm getting. I'm saying I'm gonna the same thing I always get. Texas bacon cheesesteak milk plates. What you gonna get? So I can get a piece. I'm gonna get Texas cheesesteak. <laughs> <laughs> no, get something different so I can try it. I'm gonna get a cheese. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a cheese. You know, everybody switching the electric car, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait till about 10 years when the word electric. Babe, so. Yeah, be... Good morning, besties. It is Saturday morning, y'all. And boy, we had a time last night. We had such a good time. We had went to this place called Vibes. And they was having like R&B night, but then like after the R&B part, they switched to, you know, regular, you know, songs. And we just had a time. I don't know if I told y'all, but we had invited a, a CJ friend and his girlfriend. So they also came with us because we did end up booking a three bedroom condo. And we was like, shit, you know, might as well invite somebody else because if it would have just been me and CJ, I can guarantee we would have not went to no club. So we ended up inviting them. We ended up going out and we had a good time. Then we went to Waffle House. I think we got back to the room at like, I don't know, probably like 1.45. I know we didn't go to bed till like 2.30. So it was a little bit tired this morning. Got up at like 10, called the kids, and I just got out the shower. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get ready for the day. I don't really know what the plan of the day is, but it's already like 11 o'clock. So I know we need to go get some food. And then after we get some food, I want to go shopping. I want to go to the little outlets, but I don't know what else we're going to do for the day. But I need to figure out what we're going to do for the day so that I would know how to dress. And I also want to give me some crab legs. I kind of want to go to Dirty Dicks because I want some crab legs. They have good crab legs. Well, I don't know. I haven't been here in like, I think last time I came here, I was definitely still in high school. So it's been a, it's been a hot minute since I came down here. But yeah, just want to come on and say good morning. I'm about to do my little skincare. So I got my, of course, my Kojic Acid. And then I also washed with the um, Hydrating Facial Clean Gel by Good Molecules. And my grandma actually called me yesterday right before I left home. And she said she just started following me on Instagram. My grandma is just now seeing all of my content, y'all. Um, So she's like, what is that stuff you're using on your face? I need some. So when we get back home unless i just see an ulta today i'll grab it but i need to grab some products from my grandma because she got kind of like same skin as me dry and then she has like dark dark marks i'm gonna get her that discoloration serum but we're gonna pick up some products from my grandma y'all i took some pictures last night and i'm going to drop these on the ground because y'all know i never post instagram pictures but i'm gonna talk to y'all when i get dressed hey besties we ended up going to brunch, y'all went to brunch and then went to Walmart to order the boys some airbrush t-shirts. I forgot y'all. I forgot to grab y'all. This is what I decided to wear today. This is a little dress from the haul the other day. Real cute, real cute. 
I had paired it with some of Gucci slides, but I took them off because we're gonna walk. I think we're gonna try to get a tattoo, so some matching tattoos. So I don't know, I'm not gonna forget y'all this time. I'm gonna put y'all in my purse. All right, y'all, we decided to get some matching tattoos. I should have got it. The number's right here forever, right? Nah, babe, don't do too much. We'll get some more in our time. Yeah, we decided to get some tattoos. So we're getting like our Roman number. We're getting our Roman. Hey, bro, we're getting our Roman num <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> we're getting our Roman numerals. And then I'm gonna always, he's getting forever. Forever. So we just got it drawn out. And then I was trying to figure out the location. I was placing my little piece of paper everywhere. You know what? Your ass is banned from the vlog. What I, I see you. How? I'm gonna do always. He gonna do forever. And I was trying to, I, sir. I was thinking about putting mine right here, but CJ told me not to. So then I said on my wrist or like on my forearm. But I think I'm gonna do it like on my ankle. Say the verse. Same for you. Yeah. Don't put no ink on your. So. Teddy, in it good with my sweet we be vibing. <laughs> And it's the first, first person younger than me in my family. Hey, about to calm little, you know, bow up to me. But the last hour and a half was actually whatever. Yeah. Like, whatever. Okay. So hey. you tag. You it know they tag super fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're finna get dressed and we're finna go to the beach. And after the beach, we're gonna get crabs and then we're gonna get dressed for the night. See, I told you I needed 27 outfits for two days. Shit, I might wear it. To the club? Yeah, yeah, I'm cool. My booty is bouncing like crazy in this dress. Oh my god. All right, bestie girls, we are at the beach. So we decided to come down here. Um, everybody else went on jet skis. My husband didn't want to go on jet skis. And then the lady at the tattoo shop told us it wasn't like really good for us to go into like the water with the tattoos and stuff. And they covered with like a tegadarn strip. But then CJ friend was like, well, just don't do it. Cause you know, flesh eating bacteria and blah, 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 blah. And I ain't got time for no shit. So we just sitting over here. We don't got no beach towels, which we should have got some. We went to Walmart. Totally slipped my mind. We don't have no beach chairs, so we just on some little chairs. I mean, some little towels from the hotel. I got me some 1800 peach in my cup, and it's real good. And we finna get ready to get dressed and go get crab legs. Then we're gonna come back, get dressed, and we're gonna get ready to go out for the night. So, yeah, I'm gonna put y'all on charger for a little bit because I need y'all to be charged up, ready to G freaking O. So I'll catch up with y'all a little bit. But fuck that, right back to the script, cause this a major lick. He got bricks, plus his neck and icy, and it matches wrist now. It's like six. Told her hit his phone. Meet her in the whip, but he ain't go. But he ain't that slow. Wait, wait. Say hey, babe. Hey babe. <laughs> this is called a dick sample. Now look at my head. Let me see your head. So we think we'll get CJ some oyster. No. Man, I've been with this day and gave this nigga some weed. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got the high cut up. Silicone, everybody fake now. You could crack the code, bust down everything. Setting rose gold, dread talking to you niggas. Like I'm J. Cole, I could tell a head good. morning you guys so it is sunday and we're on our way back home i always see people eating at culver's culver's no tell about your night That's hold on oh, okay. the culver's so i wanted to try it because i saw when we was coming in so now that we leaving out i wanted to stop by and try it um i have a terrible hangover y'all we had a good time but i don't know cj friend he just he bought me a 
a Red Bull and please don't hit me. Red Bull and Hennessy. And I think that was the drink that just like pushed me over like the edge. But I was in there and I had like started like, I had to like, my mouth was wet. So I was like, I don't know. It was just, girl, it was a mess. I had a long night, but of course my husband got me, took me back to the hotel, put me in the shower. He did all the things for me. So thankful. But we got up and I got up at 10.23 and I got in the shower because I thought checkout was 11 o'clock. Well, when I get in the shower, my husband texts me and say, these people talking about we supposed to be out at 10. I just feel like that's robbery. You know people come here, specifically here, it's spring break, people come here, they party, like 10 o'clock checkout, that's insane. I, I, can, I can deal with 11, but I just feel like personally, I feel like hotel checkout should be like at least 12 at least 12 10 o'clock so i don't know y'all that was like for every hour you stay over they charge you 150 dollars so um they charge your card so i just called the bank and i said i lost my card just give me another card so we ended up leaving out at like 10 59 we got packed up and now we on our way home hello yes ma'am that's it right I'm excited to try this burger. I feel like I should have got a combo, but I just got some fries from McDonald's. Cause I told you I had a little hangover and my stomach was feeling weak. Thank you. My pleasure. I'm gonna have you pull to the right behind that Honda. For okay, me. okay. My stomach was feeling like a little weak. So I didn't want nothing heavy. But then CJ went and bought me some aspirin. He got me some water and a Sprite. And when I start drinking that water and Sprite, I start feeling better. So I feel like if I eat a burger, it's just gonna pull me all the way back it's together. It's too cool. It's too cool. You got the sensor so you don't even get the rim, the mm -hmm. rim rash. That shit nice, I ain't gonna lie. I wish I had a Mercedes, but I ain't rich. Sir, what? you got me this. No, I didn't. You were saying that last night too. I was like, no, I did not. How, who got it for me, babe? You. <laughs> babe, but you do everything for me, and for that, I am grateful. If anything I want, you go and get it. I try, shit, I, I, I put my best foot forward. Y'all literally, we went to look at the model houses. Y'all remember, we just went to go look and I said, oh my God, like I really want one of these. I want this same house. I have that same house. Cause anything I say I want, he's gonna go get it. It can be some small ass, uh, a pickled egg. He gonna remember it. Then he'll come home like a week later with my pickled egg. Like he's gonna remember <laughs> anything I say I want, you get. I'll be taking pictures when you be in the store. Yes, y'all. If I'm in the store <laughs> and I'm looking at something, because I'm the type of person, like, I'll buy stuff for everybody but myself. So if I see something now, I'll be like, oh, I really like this, but I ain't going to get it today. I'm just getting stuff for the boys. He'll take a picture. He'll go back and get it when, when I'm not with him. And then he'll come surprise me. It's always the small thing. I love you. I love you, too. Sugar woo. Oh, I still take that on your point. Oh shit, man. You're lying. I know, I know, I know. But we had a good time, y'all. We've never done like couples trip. We've never done nothing with no couples, honestly, because we ain't never knew what, what well, your friends be having people, but you know. Brother took them shoes out my closet. <laughs> Trey took like Trey took like six pairs of shoes from me. When he came over? Uh, yesterday? Mm-mm. I gave them to him because uh, I can't fit them side of ten no more. Mm. So I just, like that's why I said I need some new shoes. My okay. shoes, I, I not grow out of them. He still wear ten, so I gave him. Hmm? You just gave it away. Yeah, she gave it to my brother. I still see it. But yeah, y'all, this upcoming week tomorrow, well, in the morning, I have to get up and I have to take my husband to the airport because he's going on a work trip, and I'm gonna just have family staying with me, like. Close to the park. Yeah, good part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, family, just staying with me, like my mama and CJ grandma, because um, who's staying at home alone? Not me. And if somebody can't come over, me and the boys will be going to their house. Like I'll be going to my mama house or um, my grandma house somewhere, because I ain't staying in the house by myself. <sighs> yes, she is. If you ask for it, your ain't gonna stay there. Mm-mm, boo. <laughs> no, 
But um, I have to get on my editing because it's Sunday. Sunday is usually vlog day. Can't live vlog, not gonna be up today. So I'm trying to have it out tomorrow. But yeah. This can't lie. We enjoy. Oh, you better get to work. <laughs> We really enjoyed y'all, and I love my tattoo. I love it. I love the placement of it. I love it. It's cute. I should have got mine there. Well, you got it. No. <laughs> ain't got tattoo on the man. <laughs> y'all in my bag. Y'all did, but it's okay. We got one bar, and we just made it back into Alabama. So we finna go in Dunkin'. I haven't had coffee since Thursday, I think. And I just, I really just was craving some coffee today. So I'm finna go in here. Okay. Look at that camera. Look at that chick. Look at that camera hanging by a thread. That's crazy. America runs on Dunkin'. Zari be running on Dunkin' for sure. I'd have got the Dunkin' app. That's how you know I'm like a real Dunkin' girly. Starbucks be, they iced coffee be nasty. Don't drink Starbucks. I ain't been there. Ooh, baby. I ain't been to Starbucks in a long time. Hmm? Oh, my bad, but we finna go in here, y'all be back. So I got the Dunkin' with the sweet cream foam and then I added some extra sugar. That's my order. Did y'all just be asking? That's it. <laughs> so let's try it out. When I went to the bathroom, I saw I had like a little piece of crusty something on my eye. That's how you know I had a long freaking night. I ain't even get to do my morning routine. Like, I'm just off, but let's try this coffee. Mmm. They gonna hit every time. Starbucks could never. <sighs> hey, bestie girls, it is the next day, y'all. I did not vlog at all yesterday once we got home. I just went right into Mamo's, spending time with the boys because we hadn't seen them all weekend. So, this morning I had to get up. We got up at four o'clock. We left home at like five. Took CJ to the airport. Had to go to Birmingham and sometimes the traffic be like a little bit iffy. So we left super early. Um, so he's going on his business trip now. And I don't know why, but I just have like the little, a little phobia of being home alone. I don't know. So I asked a couple members of the village to come and stay with us. So... My in-laws, my mother-in-law and CJ's grandma, they had stayed here with the boys all weekend. So they gone home now, but now my mom and my brother are gonna stay with me. And then, I know they're gonna stay Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, CJ, mom and grandma gonna come back. And then Friday, I don't know who's coming, but I know if don't nobody come, me and the boys going to somebody's house. I don't know y'all, I just have like a little phobia of being home while I don't like it. Um, and don't get me wrong, locked and loaded in here and all the things, but when my husband out here, it's like, I just, I be scared. Like, I be scared to be alone. I don't know. It's weird. But <sighs> CJ um, family kept the boys for us this morning since they was already still here. They kept the boys for us so I could take them to the airport without, you know, getting them up at 4 a.m. and taking them. So the boys stayed home. Y'all know today supposed to be just a little solar eclipse. And it was like freaking me to freak out. Like, it was stressing me out. And so what do you do when you're stressed? I went to Target. <laughs> And I went to Target because my brother and CJ actually put up my light in the babe cave, which I want to show y'all. Hold on. So my husband knew that he had to leave today and he wanted to go ahead and get it up for me. So it's up once again. Thank you, Lex. I love it, girl. I love it so much. So I went to Target to grab a few items, a few little pink items just to make it, you know, start finally start working on it. Okay. And then it's target circle week if you're not using target circle i don't know what you're doing but it's target circle week and they have a bunch of good deals i got me a castle luna blanket for literally 40 dollars all right y'all i ended up getting a pink knit full-size castle luna blanket and then my grandma had told me that she loved the blanket on my bed so I got her the brown one. OMG, why is it snagged? Look at it. I need to check my grandma's too, but I'm gonna take it to her when I go down there. Cause I also gotta take her whole stuff from Ulta, so. I also got this two pack of throw pillows. I got these pillows as well. I think they came from like the kids section, but that's only $4. I got this clock that I'm gonna hang up in my living room, I think, if it's big enough. And then I just picked up some, um. I got me and my grandma one of these because she was talking about 
these little scrub brushes that she sees somebody using on TikTok. And I used to have one of these and I really liked it. So I got me one and her one. And then I got this Dove Sensitive Stuff for the boys. And then I just picked up some Dial. And that was everything I got. I left my grandma blanket in a car because there's no point in bringing it in because it's not staying here. And I'm so excited, y'all, because FedEx, the, the FedEx man just pulled up, backed up into my driveway. And whenever he does that, I know it's something big. So I had a collab with a furniture company and I actually picked something for the bag cave and I got a mirror, but this not a regular mirror. It got like lights all around it and stuff. So I'm so excited. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram because I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to put up all of my decor that I bought and I'm going to hang some stuff on the wall and I'm going to unbox that mirror and then I'm going to put a picture on, Inst on my Instagram story. So follow me on Insta. But I really want to get this vlog out today. So I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, definitely get used to seeing this kind of content because now that we're home, our village is telling us we need to take a break. And I mean often. They want us to do a trip every month. And I'm like, who's sponsoring these monthly trips? Can't do a trip every month, but we can do a day or two every month. So get used to just seeing a little bit of me and my husband get get used to seeing more of just me and cj because we deserve time to ourselves as well i feel like since becoming parents a lot of times we get so like caught up in just being parents that it's so easy to forget about your spouse because before it was them kids it was still you and your husband and one day your kids gonna grow up they gonna go off to make their own family and it's still gonna be just you and your husband. And you don't wanna been to push your person off so far that like when it's just you two again, y'all don't even know how to let it just be you two cause you're always stuck in parenthood, stuck in mom and dad mode. And there's nothing wrong with being stuck in mom and dad mode, but I also know how to switch it to mama and daddy mode. So <sighs> just a little word. Um, this weekend, it was so needed y'all. I just feel rejuvenated, I feel rested. I feel reconnected to my husband and I feel like it was really needed because especially like doubling back, he had to come right home and go on a work trip. Like I just feel like just in a really good space uh, because last week, I can't lie, we was having a, a pretty rocky week. Like we was at each other neck, okay? But yeah, we just got to rest and reset. And it, like I told y'all, it was our first time ever doing something with like another couple. Now CJ Friend, his name is Fat. Um, we've known, I have known him for, as long as I've known CJ, like that's what that's like CJ brother. He wanted the kids' godfathers, and so he's like I don't know. He'll have a girlfriend and they don't have a girlfriend. But him and who y'all saw in the vlog, that's Sierra. They've been together for a good minute now, and I love when we can just go out with people and it'd be like they're like-minded people so it was no weird vibes she's super cool it was my first time like actually like officially officially hanging with her it's not my first time meeting her but like it was our first time stepping out together and stuff and i feel like they live five minutes away so we can have a couple game nights we could do double dates we can do all the things because it's like it's cool to just have like couple friends and so it was it was it was good y'all it was cool i'm glad that i came up with the idea to invite them and i'm glad that they was able to get away from their day-to-day -day routine and just have a little escape too but yes y'all we had a time so just y'all know look forward to seeing more mom and dad outside content at least once a month but that's it and that's all for today's vlog i love you guys and thank you guys for tuning in and watching and i'll see you guys in the next vlog bye besties Mwah.